Hello everyone and welcome to another iMindMap 10 tutorial, this time on Mind Map View. So we're going to go ahead and start creating our mind map. First you'll be presented with this central ideas screen where you pick the image you want as your central idea. And you can also change the style of the mind map using these little buttons on the bottom. Uh, professional map is kind of more organized with flat branches and the Busan map uses the more traditional Busan curvy wavy branches. Now. We're going to name our central idea. I'm going to call my mind maps and we're going to make a map about mind maps. So nice and easy. So using the red button in the center, you can draw out your branches simply by clicking and dragging. It's as easy as that. Once you have your branch, just start typing and immediately you'll get your word. Once you have that, using the blue cross icon, you can move your branch about and the text will orient to fit. By holding Alt and clicking on the text, you can then move it along the branch so it's in the placement that's best for you. You can also simply just click the red icon and it will give you the branch. You don't need to draw it out if you don't want to. If you want the map to find the best placement for you, that's nice and easy. Using the yellow ring, you can drag out box branches. Again, just clicking it will also create one in the map, in the place your map thinks is best. So once you have a few branches, you can start expanding from those instead of from the central image. So we're going to create a branch there, call it user friendly, and we're going to create another one. Again, just dragging out the branches, just like you would from the central idea. And you're very quickly starting to build up a nice mind map. Even with child branches, you can still drag and move the original branches around. Now using this menu here, we get access to a few different functions within iMindMap 10. These functions are more specific, so that's why they're in this menu. So this one is the convert branch tool, which can convert a box branch to an ordinary branch. And then you can also convert it back again. So we're going to go down here and create a few more branches, just as we did on the first one. And now let's say we wanted to create a relationship between engaging and Colourful. So let's want, we want to say that it's engaging because it's colourful. So we're going to use the relationship tool found in the menu and drag this little arrow up there to engaging and it connects them without them having to be within the same hierarchy. You can easily delete relationships by clicking the dotted line and then pressing backspace or delete and that will disappear just like that. You can also create relationships by drawing a new branch to a branch on a different tree and boom, you get the relationship as well. So now let's say we weren't happy with the placement of a branch and we wanted to move it somewhere else. We can go over to Expressive, open the menu and click the drag and drop button and simply drag the branch over to its new parent and boom, instant. So we're just going to very quickly build up our map here, just so I can show you a few more of the functions. And there we go. So we've got a very, very basic map with a few relationships happening. Now let's say that you wanted to hide a portion of your mind map since it's getting a bit cluttered or a bit too busy. What you can do is going into the same menu as we did before is we can press this little minimize icon and that whole tree will disappear. You can then very easily bring them back using the plus icon either on the branch itself, just as you can see here, or by going back into the menu and clicking the button from there. You can add images using the sidebar on Windows or from the toolbar above on Mac. We're just going to search for an image here and add that in by clicking on it. And you'll see that you can drag this image around and connect it to different branches. There's a line that will indicate which branch your image is connected to. And no matter where you move your image in the map, if it isn't dragged directly to the branch as so, then it will always be connected to a different branch. So we're going to drop a few more images in there. And now we're going to look at some icons. So with this, you have a whole array of icons within iMindMap 10 already that you can choose from. I'm going to use the heart and just kind of show you how big these are, how they look, uh, how easy it is to very quickly add them. 
including the way you can drag and drop them onto the branches instead of just clicking if you want something a little more visceral. Once you have a map that you're really happy with, you can go ahead and save it by coming up onto the left hand corner. Simply click the save icon and you'll be prompted with this. The menus are slightly different on Mac and Windows, but the function is the same. Uh, we're going to go and name our file my mind map and we're going to hit save. Now, once you have saved a file for the first time, you can easily save it again and again and again by clicking the save icon. We're going to make a minor adjustment and click save as easy as that. Thank <laughs> you.